Yo, it's your boy Denzel Porter, fresh out of New York City, and I'm here in Toronto. Make sure you check out freshmotherfucker.com. Mr. Porter to you, bro. <laughs> Look, give a shout out to the haters for me, they dead. Give a shout out to the maker for me, who killed them? Give a shout out to the taker for me, I'm that nigga. Give a shout out to the Kramers for me, we in the matrix that's full of hatred and hates his choices. So I just toot my own horn, making city noises. Me and my boys is in the club smoking and sipping poison. If money talks, I guess that you could say we throwing voices. Um, who is Denzel Porter? Denzel Porter is a, is a hip hop artist out of the Bronx. I'm gonna refer to him as third person, so you know, he's a hip hop artist out of the Bronx doing his thing. Um, definitely, I. I, I <laughs> third person he started he started doing music like around eighth grade and stuff like that so it's like um no, i'm sorry third grade so i was around eight at the time and uh it wasn't until um around elementary school i mean junior high school i started um doing music seriously and around high school i built my own studio started my own um team wreck house entertainment and um we started throwing parties and doing a whole lot of stuff musically and um and entertainment wise as an artist, what I'm trying to get across is the real. What I'm really trying to do is paint pictures about what area I'm from. I feel like the North Bronx doesn't get a, a, like a lot of recognition. So it's like, you know, I'm just going to paint a picture about a culture that nobody ever really knows. And it's crazy because, like, hip-hop comes from the Bronx, but there's a side of the Bronx that, you know, like, I just feel everything should be exposed. Well, the opportunity actually came about with intuition. You know, intuition got out there. Um, Brendan, Brendan from Smash Mouth ENT, he, he he heard intuition. He checked out some more of my stuff, and he was really, 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 really feeling it. You know, and he really wants to support. So he was like, "Yo, I'm gonna help you out, get you out here in Canada." Um, and he threw me on this Kendrick Lamar show, and I really appreciate that because it was a dope experience. You know, one of the best crowds I've ever uh, performed in front of. Look, me. now she bangs and she bangs like some shorty with a fatty, and she dance and she sing anything to make him happy. But she don't know what is wrong. He's still moving, now we moving. She think daddy out there choosing, but she don't know what he doing. Uh oh, here comes her instincts, her female intuition, and then follows the thinking, which comes along with visions. She. Well, one thing about music, what I like to do is storytelling. I really like storytelling. So um, I needed to tell another story. I had this story back in 2006 in high school that, that got me a really good buzz in high school. So I needed to outshine that. So um, Claus, shout out to Claus. He, he, he made this instrumental and he sent it to me. And the way the beat built, it was like, yo, you have to tell a story on this. So I wanted to write a story that I could get a message across and surprise people in the end. You know, something just crazy. Switch it up on them. That's how intuition came about. And it was really cool because it's like, you know, it, it basically intuition is a true story because everybody has a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend who's been through something like that. You know, and, and that's 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 a story behind intuition. Like, it really got my name out there. Um, you know, I, I got... It, it's just everywhere, you know, it just really got to experience a viral video firsthand, you know, and, and it was like working out of my room. So it was like amazing seeing those numbers jump from getting like 300 to 400 views, to straight up 30,000, you know, in, in a matter of two weeks or so. It's like amazing watching that. I really, really New York when it comes to fresh. I like, uh, I like my jeans fitted. <laughs> I don't really like to be too baggy. Um, I like dirty chucks, Chuck Taylors. I, I just feel like dirty chucks and dirty dunks, especially dunks. Um, like I have, I have a pair of dunks from 2006 that, like, I still keep them around. I still wear them just because they're dirty, you know. Um, and I'm definitely a fan of polo. I would definitely design hats. Matter of fact, while we're on the topic of fresh, um, this shirt that I got on is actually designed by um, a, a designer out in the Bronx, and it's called um, WKND. You can see the tag. It's a pretty dope brand. It's stepping up. Five to ten years from now, I'm gonna be everywhere. 
<laughs> that's that's really all I can say. I'm gonna be everywhere. Hopefully, I can reach the moon. That's what I mean by everywhere. You know, um, I'm not sure. Ten years from now, I definitely wanna uh, definitely wanna have a family. I mean, I definitely wanna live that regular life. But um, you know, we'll see. Ten years. I definitely want to shout out Rec House ENT. I want to shout out Smash Mouth, and I want to shout out um, definitely Toronto for having me out here and giving me that support last night was crazy. And um, that's it. Really. Said I tested positive for HIV. That's when he fell to his knees, couldn't breathe, couldn't move, couldn't think, 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 couldn't even be confused. Fell into the bed and pinched himself like dog. This can't be true. Looking at that shorty next to him, like what did he just do?